Oh, good morning to you guys. How are you doing today? Oh, it's so nice out here. Crisp and cold. 20 below this morning. That's 20 degrees below zero. You know, <laughs> I'd rather sit in the freezer right now than be outside. Woo, it's a little chilly. But, uh, yeah. In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Ah, it's a nice icy cold morning. The sun did shine for a few minutes, but then it went right back behind the mountain. We're not gonna see it for a little bit longer. Right, it's about 10.35 in the morning. Trees are covered in a thick layer of hoarfrost, and it's cold. I gotta go inside. It looked like he was gonna fly off. So I have to record it again. Well, good afternoon. I'm out here in our RV lot. Um, we use this lot for uh, Boondockers Welcome and, and other uh, RV guests who want to stay here with us throughout the summer. Um, but I wanted to show you something kind of crazy about our winter here in Alaska and the sun. I'm going to turn the camera around here in a, in a minute and I will just, I'll show you how high it gets in the, in the sky. It's kind of crazy, so stand by a second. So right now I'm looking straight into the trees and straight at the sun. And yeah, it's a little bit after mid-sun time, but it's not even close to being above the trees right now. That's how low on the horizon our sun uh, is during the winter time. It's not high overhead. It's just really low on the horizon. So it doesn't really warm us up much in the summer, in the winter time either. Uh, that's why these days, even though they're bright and sunny, they stay crisp and cold. Pretty crazy, isn't it? It just doesn't go any higher than that. But now that we're past solstice, we'll start getting a little bit more daylight and the sun will start going higher and higher in the sky. And one thing about living up here in the winter time, is you cannot let these cold days distract you and uh, make you want to stay inside and not enjoy the outdoors. This is some of the most beautiful time of the year uh, just because how the sun shines on the trees and how crisp and clear it is. It's just absolutely beautiful right now. I know the mountains are out. Denali's showing off in all its glory. The Chugach Range is showing off. All the mountains are out in their glory right now. They're just beautiful. So these cold days are some of the most magical days we can have. And you may have seen recently, we've had some aurora. I believe Stacy posted some photos on Facebook a bit ago that uh, we had almost a full moon and the aurora at the same time, but the moon was so bright, you couldn't hardly see the aurora in the sky. The moon lit everything up, reflecting off of the snow that's on the ground. And it was almost like daylight outside with that full moon and all the frosted trees. It was really, again, magical so if you're ever questioning coming up to Alaska in the winter time I really think you should it's really awesome I was just walking through the yard a bit and I saw these tracks through the snow up over this hill and snowbank those are moose tracks so at some point very recently I think within the last day or so a moose traveled right through here over that snow mound and went into the other yard Kind of crazy, they don't let terrain get in their way, they just go right over. He could have gone up the driveway, but that's too easy. He went, he took the hard way. <laughs> They're amazing animals. So here's the other side of those moose tracks. Oh yeah, you can see them a little bit better here maybe. You can see them over the hill. And down the snowbank right here. And you know what? 
I just plowed some of that over there on the other uh, RV pad yesterday. So that happened last night. And he came down and just walked up that way. Yeah, kind of crazy. So I know on our Monday Night Lives, we've talked a little bit about Starlink. Well, and there's our uh, Dishy, Dishy McFlatface, I think they call him. Mounted up in the eave, got an 18 inch arm reaching off the eave and then a uh, four foot uh, pole so we can get above the snow level if it ever gets that deep on the roof. And uh, see, facing almost straight up, maybe a little bit north. But that's our uh, that's our Starlink right there. That's our internet service. That's what is bringing all the videos and everything live to you. And it works great up here. Another shot of it you can see off the eave. And there's two guy wires going back uh, to the roof line. Uh, to stabilize it in wind. Um, last week we had some 30, 45 mile, 30 to 40 mile an hour winds and uh, no problem with the uh, setup right there. Everything worked just great. So Starlink for the win. Why are you shaking little girl? Well hello, good Friday afternoon. I know Gary has already been talking to you about how cold it is. Right now it's like 2.30 in the afternoon and it is still frigid. It's negative 13 degrees. And when it gets this cold, little Miss Sophie here is hating life because she has hair like you and me. She does not have fur. So to keep her warm, we've got to do some uh, extra precautions to keep her safe in these cold, uh, cold temps. So she, she wears little booties and she has a fleece uh, sweatshirt on as well as a puffy jacket such as mine so we are going to go take her outside and let her do her business and also check in on the chickens one last time before we head out and do something really fun today so we hope you will stick around and join us for something big to come all right sophie you ready to go let's go outside and she's off Right in front of the garage is usually her potty spot. And while she does her business, I'll just show you how beautiful the day is. It is so cold, we have beautiful hoar frost up in the trees. And uh, the chickens are mostly staying inside today, uh, but they don't hate life too much. They're nice and cozy in their coop. And Sophie knows where we're going. This is a pretty norm for us to come out several times during the day and go check in on the fluffy butts. When I do come out, I do scan the sky for bald eagles. I think Gary spoke to you earlier today about the bald eagles we have around. Um, Sophie is perfect perfect Sophie snack size for the eagles. So she always has to be supervised when we go outside because I don't want her to uh, fly away. All right, you wanna go in and check in on your fluffy butts? Come on, and get out of the cold. Good girl. Hello, everyone. All right, let's check the <laughs> Oh, Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Hi ladies, what's up? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what's the temperature? Nine. 9.2, that's not bad considering it's negative 13. We're still keeping 23 degrees above ambient temperature. So these girls and my Roo are completely happy. Let's go check in on their water. All right, we got one bird at the feeder. And we still have moving water. Two days below zero and the water is staying fresh and not frozen or hard. So that is a win-win in Alaska chicken keeping. Hello, how's everyone doing? You just hanging out? Yep, yep, yep. 
All right, I'm gonna collect eggs and we're gonna go back inside. What are you doing, Miss Easter Egger? Yeah. All right, so we've got one there, four there, one there. All right, so we have one, five, six, plus two from this morning. So eight eggs so far this day. Pretty girl, are you trying to sit on eggs? Yeah. Yeah. We can't have you doing that. That That's breakfast. All right, I'm gonna just take these. Thank you though. All right, time to head back inside. Come on, Soph. There she goes. One thing I have to remember, when I do impromptu egg, uh, getting eggs, I tend to stick them in my pockets and then sometimes I forget. Luckily, I haven't had a problem yet, but it could happen. And it looks like Gary is trying to unstick the garage. Let's go check in on him. What are you doing, babe? Unfreezing the door. Oh boy. This one works. Come on, Sophie. Come on. Oh, what a difference. Standing from there to here. I can't even see. I mean, just stepping from outside to in here. It's still a warm zone. Oh, yeah. Well, think about it. It's like oh, 60, yeah. 60 degrees difference between outside yeah. and in here. It's a warm zone in here. All right. Well, we are just headed out of the neighborhood, and we have... A neighbor just hanging out. They do that. Boy, it's amazing how they just disappear. They just hang out. Oh, he's, he's temporarily uh, occupied, temporarily busy. Was he keen? Yeah. <laughs> and into the trees they go. <laughs> and almost gone. Very cool. Yep. So we are up to something big today. Big. Big. Big yeah. and bright. All right. But we need to get there before the sun goes down. Wow. Well, <laughs> we don't have much time for that. Yeah. We just saw a sunset. But <laughs> today is a two-part adventure. And part number one, that's what I'm hoping we get to before it's too dark. Um, it might be lit up. It might not. Yeah. So, and then part two is all about the lights. So stay tuned. And um, I apologize. Our roads are complete crud in the winter. They're pretty bumpy. So, all right, we're off. double date and it's still kind of light out yeah. and we are just about to pull up on oops 
our first destination of the night. And uh, to give you a hint, ooh, we are in Anchorage. So give us a few minutes and we will turn the camera around and show you where we're at. I'm gonna give you a hint, it's something big. First little destination today. Little? little. I'd say big. Look at that, that guy. That's a snowman. Look how big that snowman is right there. We have come into Anchorage to see the Snowzilla. It hasn't been here for 10 years. And this year is the first year it's been back, so we wanted to come and see what it's all about. Let's get a little closer. There's quite a line of cars, yep. so we just need to be careful about that. But let's go see Snowzilla up close and personal. Sounds great. monstrosity right look at that i mean oh my gosh it's pretty awesome all right well we've came we saw and now let's go eat <laughs> well, welcome guys. We are in the second half of our, actually, third part of our date night. We had dinner at Olive Garden in Anchorage, and now we are at, what's this called? This is the Alaska Bright State Lights. Fair Bright Lights Festival. These are hard to see out of view, but I do recommend the driver wear these. <laughs> We're good to go. All right, awesome. Headlights off. Oh, you yes. guys have a great time. Enjoy. Thank you. Happy, Thank Happy, New, Year. Year. Happy New, Year. New Year. All right, so we are about to go through the lights. So I'm going to turn this down or around and we'll see it happen. Guess what guys, we are truly, 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 truly now caught up. Gary and I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of this new channel, Living Free Alaska. I know it was kind of a pain for us to transfer all of our old videos from our RVing to Alaska channel over to the new one, but I think you guys really get a sense of who we are and how we do Alaska with all these past videos. 
So I just want to thank you for being a part of our new journey, our new family here on the Living Free Alaska channel. We are absolutely loving all the comments and everyone just participating with the channel. It's something that has completely blown our minds compared to our last channel. We truly feel like we have found our audience. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Moving forward here on out, it is all brand new 2024 content and we have been doing a pretty good job of turning on that camera and vlogging to you uh, throughout this winter. So stay tuned. We are now moving to weekly episodes starting this week. Still don't know the day, but stay tuned and you'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Living Free Alaska. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again next week here on Living Free Alaska.